the man of law's tale begins with a saracen sultan falling in love with constance a fair christian maiden and the emperor of rome's daughter constance becomes engaged to the sultan once he promises that he and his court will be will convert to christianity although deeply unhappy with her commitment constance consents to the marriage meanwhile the sultan's mother furious at her son's betrayal of her faith swears to avenge and defend her religion after that the marriage is celebrated which culminates with a lavish party in in the sultan's palace once the guests are gathered the sultan's mother orders to kill all the christians including her own son constance the unique survivor of the massacre is placed on a rudderless ship and set sails later she arrives in northumberland and is taken in by the headmaster of a local castle and his wife named hermengild they are pagans but constance converts the wife and in the time the husband as well next a young man falls in love with constance but quickly becomes vindictive when she rejects his prize he kills hermengild while she and constance are sleeping and places the knife next to constance to make it look as though she had committed the murder as a result constance is put on a trial before ella the king of northumberland the young man accuses her of murder but the local people come to her defense saying that she would never have committed such a crime the king orders the accusing man to swear on a book that constance committed the murder an act that mimics a christian swearing on a bible then he dies instantly upon making his claim after watching this miracle the king and the spectators convert to christianity then allah decides to marry constance which angers his mother donegal constance eventually gives birth to a boy named mauritius while allah is away and donegal sends a false letter about the birth telling her son that the child was deformed allah professes his enduring love for his wife and child in another letter but donegal replaces it with one containing orders for constance and mauritius banishment and they are summarily summarily placed back in constance rather less bold and sent back to sea when he returns and finds his wife and child missing allah murders his mother for her treachery constance in the meantime washes ashore in another hidden land and is nearly raped by a warden of the local castle however the virgin mary comes to her aid and saves her during this time the emperor of rome sends an army to syria to avenge the erstwhile christian massacre the army led by a senator finds constance and her son on their return journey and brings them back to rome in the meantime Allah makes his way to Rome on pilgrimage to do penance for the killing of his mother. He is eventually reunited with Constance and Mauritius. Constance is also reunited with her father, the emperor. The story ends with the eventual establishment of Mauritius as an emperor of Rome.